Hello. I don't know art. I'm an artist, though, and I do... The, the, beside the point, Garrett Perry, me. I'm normal. Yeah, I guess that's the first time that really makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> Let's do our coin it's flip. Fun. We have a British farthing we're going to flip. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Heads, I pick the character. Tails, I pick the facial expression. And it's heads. It's fucking heads! Okay. I get to pick the character for the very first time on our show. Okay. What's the facial expression? The facial expression is Surprised Pikachu Face. Surprised Pikachu Face, and my character is Mr. Normal. Okay. I've been sitting on that for months. Okay. Huh. Let's get to arting. Right. <laughs> okay. I've actually had some experience um, painting Mr. Normal before. Yeah, I, uh, I, I really don't do that. <laughs> no self-portraits. He doesn't do... Do you uh, uh, do portraits, uh, I guess, of real people? Because I know you do portraits. Um, I rely pretty heavily on references when I, when I do uh, uh, portraits of my own characters. Mm hmm But, um, no, I don't, I don't think I just draw portraits of people for its own sake. Okay, so it's always a character related, and you are imagining in a character, so you get references of potentially different people. Mm hmm. Yeah, like, uh, one of my characters, Daniel, is pretty heavily based on a, uh, on a porn star called Thomas Brand. <laughs> well, judging from your art, that doesn't <laughs> surprise me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the, the kind of art that you want to create, it's probably useful to have the poses f from uh, someone in that field, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, ex it's not exclusively that, but, like, I started there, because... Oh, yeah, no, I've seen examples of your work, and sometimes it's hard to forget, like, it's a little traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm yeah. teasing you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not traumatized or anything, but, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm hilarious. <laughs> so this is a new challenge for you. Well, I mean, every episode has been a challenge, I think. <laughs> yeah. For uh, both of us, I think. Yeah, it's like half the point of doing this shit. Yeah, exactly, like, uh, kind of feeling stagnant in your art. I don't know about you, but me for sure. And this show um, has helped revitalize my own passion, you know? Mm. It's... Uh, like, like, I always was painting, but I feel like I'm painting better now, even, with this extra pressure and just having th these experiences that I didn't know I needed. The pressure. <laughs> I don't know if the art stands the test of time yet, but, I mean, I just, they're just fresh paintings. Mm. We haven't done an art exhibit. Have you been keeping all your um, final pieces? Um, they're in my bag right now. Okay. Yeah, we should potentially um, try to archive the physical drawings, you know, for just in case this ever does get popular. They could potentially have value. But unless we keep working and doing this every week, um, that the, uh, the more we do this every week, the more chances that that is potentially the case. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's funny, like, the artists, when they die, their art becomes more valuable unless you're not famous or anything. Then your art that was hard enough for you to sell is even harder or something mm -hmm. for the next person to sell, so, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it sounds like we're off to a good start. Yeah, I mean, 
it's it's no um this is an embarrassing question to have to ask right now but your color of your eyes are blue right or are they brown you thought you'd cut you'd catch me off guard you don't even know the color of your own eyes <laughs> that's hilarious. i know the color of my own eyes but i'm not gonna tell you ah oh, you fucker <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough, though. <laughs> this is a competition. <laughs> no, this is just me being a petty dick. Oh, I thought you were embracing this competition. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want to compete next time. You're gonna, you're gonna fuck with me. I'll fuck with you. <laughs> I think the show just got ten times better, you know. <laughs> About five minutes have it's passed. Been five minutes? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I don't have my towel. I wasn't prepared, but that's okay. I'll make do. You know those uh, models that are like example portraits? Mm hmm And instead of um, like hair, which might be used to establish character, it's just kind of lines to show where the hairline would go. Okay. Yeah. Mine is going to kind of look like that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> is it because you don't have hair? Just one. Uh... <laughs> you just freshly got a haircut too, actually. It looks good. You're looking sharp. Mm. Did you know I was going to pick you as a character? Uh, no. What, what were your thoughts of my first character pick was going to be? Because it's been like a long time in the making. Um, I mean, like, there's only two uh, character choices that we've actually talked about before, the ones that you might do. Oh, the uh, Pixar lamb? Those, that was the Pixar lamb and also Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit, thanks for reminding me. Now I know I might pick for next episode. <laughs> Robert Ross. <laughs> Fucking legend. Shit, man. I made another spitting image of you. People are going to think this is a fucking photograph. <laughs> I have a feeling. You I know can't it. I can't see what it looks like, but like I feel like I'm being tacitly insulted. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> um, shit, I can't like, defend myself. <laughs> you're right. If, if it looks if it looks super terrible, and you're going like, yeah, this is a this is basically a, a self portrait. <laughs> this is like going in the Smithsonian. It's super accurate. <laughs> Ugh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I'm like, I'm sure it's, I mean, like, I'm sure it's not terrible, but it's, it's not a terrible piece of art, but it's also not a spitting image. It's more, uh, <laughs> yeah, like if you're doing Francis Bacon over there and you're like, yeah, this is a spitting image. That's insulting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I insulted you big time. I'm there's no getting around that. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I know what a real Francis Bacon move would be. What? Uh, the background color. Oh. Make a kind of a dark orange I'm trying to go for here. Not too much blue. Kind of gray. Mm, not quite the orange I'm envisioning, but since I mix so much paint here, I'm going to have to go with it. Oh, it looks really good. I don't know if it'll speak Francis Bacon. But it's definitely a color I've never picked before for this. Alright, I better look at the camera at the time. We're at eight and a half minutes. I did one of my first ever paintings where I left a lot of exposed painting on purpose. Uh, just now, or... Uh uh, yesterday, during my live art show on my main channel. Um, right, um... 
GP does. Yes. Yeah. I painted. I I have a uh, a fan who's kind of evolved into a friend. Her name is Andromeda. It's kind of crushing on her a bit, but she's not really interested in that. She's more interested in friendship and stuff. But anyway, mm. she's very pretty, and I've been painting her. And I've been calling her my muse, and uh, I've been painting a few realistic portraits and a few Francis Bacon and then whatever kind of I feel like, very Picasso-like. I've been doing a lot of them, too. Like, I've been doing it on stream for um, and painting about five 8 by 10s di of different styles and I've been yeah it's uh, I think it's helping me paint and I think this was a direct this experience of us making the show together was a direct lead to me like uh, trying the art stream again and you know what the art stream is so freaking hard I uh, I struggle so much just kind of existing and trying to paint and be entertaining while there's not very many people there. It's a very difficult thing for me to do. At least at this point in my life, I guess. Right, yeah. Because <laughs> I used to do it before a lot, too. And yeah, it's just, it's kind of exposing, too. But the people that do end up watching give me a lot of love and respect, so it's worth doing and struggling through the times where no one's there, I believe. And I think I'm going to keep it up and do more paintings of Andromeda and potentially try and find a new muse to paint in person. Right. And maybe a girlfriend or something kind of thing too. Hmm. Because you were my muse for a while, hmm. but um, this is a better use of my energy and our energy that we had together, I think. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you're a great artist too. Well, well, I know you call yourself normal, but um, yeah, no. We, well, I mean, like that's still kind of that still kind of works if if you're doing Francis Bacon over there. Uh, I'm just I'm just like doing my best <laughs> to like illustrate myself. It's 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 like that. Um, Thirty seconds. Uh, that's all that's left. Yeah. Oh shit. Sorry, I got caught off guard there. Fuck, I'm done. I gotta sign my painting. I haven't missed a signature since episode one. Hmm. And that one was on purpose. Oh, movie's over. We're done. Yeah. We did it. I tried to say it at the same time as you. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is how I think you look, and I think it's a spitting image. <laughs> um, like, where's the, uh, the, um, influence? Um, you mentioned Francis Bacon before. I think I was going, um, offensive caricature a little bit by making your ears so huge. <laughs> I was trying okay. to offend you a little bit. I think that was my, um, I don't think there was really, there was a little bit of, uh, Picasso, I guess, but that's just because he has s so timeless paintings and stuff and style. Um, I, it's a bit like if Dobby had a neck beard. <laughs> I could probably tell somebody that's what the painting is and sell it. <laughs> like, oh, look at this awesome painting of Dobby. <laughs> it's neck beard Dobby. <laughs> um, let's see what your self-portrait of you looking like a Pikachu looks like. Right, like... Unfinished. <laughs> That's awesome. You really got the <laughs> eyes down and stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah, I like what you uh, you told me what you did with the hair, just kind of like unfinished, right? Yeah. Yeah, like just um, trying to draw what it looks like when there is sometimes hair, but not very much. That is awesome. I think uh, valiant effort, especially for a very first self-portrait in under such extreme circumstances and, <laughs> and yeah. weird ones at the same one with the face. <laughs> yeah, I just like I did not. I did not have a reference because I, I don't like looking at pictures of myself. <laughs> oh man, we gotta wrap this shit up. Thank yep. you so much for watching. <laughs> uh, like and subscribe, and love yourself, man.